Something I was really fascinated with from the, and I thought was not as groundbreaking, but at the same time important, is that they're actually beginning to approach genuine social marketing with mm -hmm. their applications too. You know, uh, the Swedish Rail example that they used is, that's a fabulous iPhone app, it really is. And aside from just being like, you know, plain old cool, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, it operates from the standpoint of utilizing a loyalty program and actually, you can actually spend the points, you know, on tickets and get the tickets sent straight to your phone and make the reservations. And, and then if you want, you can link it to Facebook so your friends know your itineraries. So, you know, all from this one iPhone app, which I thought was really tremendous. And again, that's, you know, that's almost done. I mean, I mean it's and a that's real app. really revolutionizing a transportation mode that was not so hot, right? They're kind of like... Although my favorite one. Yeah, I know. I love the train too, but like exactly. How do we reinvent ourselves, right? Sometimes we think about an industry and we're not watching. We get... Uh, I was reading Peak. This guy wrote about Maslow's hierarchy and needs mm -hmm. and customers and how companies don't... They just like meet the bare minimum. They don't do that higher level mm -hmm. of wowing it and then they end up complacent and losing their positioning sure. and then you take railroad which maybe is like it you know just regular old transportation and making it like amazing yep. and different and so I think that'll be a really interesting story to watch because I think they just reinvented themselves which in the Madonna model works really well yeah now I, I also think on the let's say not on the downside but on the too bad side which is something that probably make you sad is that they um, they really have no customer service apps to speak of at all. <laughs> Rich would differ, differ, care to differ with you, but yeah, I know. It is it is interesting, and I mean, that's the difficult thing for me is like we keep talking about social CRM, and there's 18 analysts at Forrester who focus on the marketing part of social CRM, but I'm really wondering, is anybody really going to get social customer service. Well, I think I think Helpstream does, and I think yep. that the strength of Oracle is the partnership with them right yep. now. That's it, though, for Oracle. They don't have a native app that's any good at all. And, you know, and but but that alliance actually is a huge benefit to them. Um, it fills out the suite. Yep. I think, honestly, one of the reasons, I mean, you know, Dennis, you know, I don't know if you read what he said about Mark Benioff's speech, but, you know, pretty much it was edible. <laughs> you know, uh, that he had to I've seen that to one Larry's four little times. Itsy bitsy uh, thing. Okay, but I actually also think that the reason Mark made the speech and did exactly what he did was that he knows that there's a huge hole yep. in Oracle's um, CR social CRM uh, applications, and what he presented, of course, was the part that filled the hole. So, right, and I was just at ICMI call center conference, right? And right. the only big vendor there was Salesforce.com yeah. doing yeah. Service Cloud too. Yeah. It's like, this is a call center conference and there's one vendor. Yeah, which is stupid. I mean, you know, uh, I'll tell you. Ads, there, I was some, like surprised. But, you know, the irony is that there are good call center vendors out there. You know, yep. I mean, Sword Caboodle, which I know we both like. And, um, um, uh, well, kind of not so good anymore. Uh, you know, but. We love you, Mike. Come on, pull it. Well, no, I do. Through. I really do like him. He's a New Yorker. I mean, you have to stand behind him. But, yep. but um. And kind of, you know, honestly, it's not a bad app. I just don't think they know how to market themselves anymore. And they've lost their position, really. I mean, they're failing, you know, at the moment. Yet, at the same time, I saw the customer service, I mean, customer experience stuff they're doing, and it's really not bad at all. Well, uh, they did that whole SOA layer yeah. with IBM so they could really have consistency across multi-channel interactions. We've been praying for that for a really yeah. long time. Yeah, again, they do, again it's not the quality of what they're presenting, of what they have. It's just the way they do it. They just don't know how to get to market anymore. I mean, somehow they lost. When Mar Marce Bruschi left the company, that was she the was end of that. She was fabulous. She was the best. I love that girl. Yep. She she knew how to do it, and you know now she's over at what Cordiant, I think. She's the CEO. Yeah. Is she CEO or CMO? I thought she was CEO. Could be. I could I, I be know. having a senior moment myself. I know she <laughs> However, was a, she was a CXO for sure. Yeah, but well, she, she was CMO, I think, at Kana, but yeah, she was. But I think that she basically left to take a break, as I understand it, and then when she got the opportunity to be a CEO, it was like Yahoo, but here good I for go. Her. I know. That's what I say. You know, it, well, however high up in the rank she is, she deserves it. She's that good. She and, is. And kind of, but kind of lost her. And, you know, yeah. they, they lost their way from then on, even though they try. So I hope they recover. I do. Any but, other social customer service apps out there that you think we should be paying attention to? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not 
really. <laughs> not really. No, I you mean, know, there's 29 vendors in my way. Yeah, but you know, I, there's, there's, it's not that they're bad. But when you call it social customer service, I know. then it, then it's not that there aren't. Look, honestly, Siebel Call Center is still a good enterprise customer, you know, customer service app. Yeah. But it's not social. I mean, it's just traditional hardcore and does operational stuff real well. Yeah. There's those kind of things still there. I mean, I, I have no doubt about that. It's just. From a social side, no. The only one I really have seen that really got it was Helpstream. I haven't seen anyone else who got it that not that well. I mean, pieces here and there, maybe. Yeah. Uh, right now, I guess is starting. It's really starting to get there. I shouldn't leave them out of this. They right. actually. High life. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, interestingly enough, from a personal standpoint, I if I I, I mean I looked at High Live at some to some extent. Um, they were probably better off just with lithium. Uh, but mm. Hive Live. Yeah, I didn't understand why they didn't just stick with lithium. They well, have I think you know, was, Hive Live has more pure social media functionality, too. Okay. You know, it's a little more of the hardcore uh, social network platform as opposed to community platform only. Right. You know, so. It but has, lithium's adding all that yeah, stuff, well, as lithium, I understand. Yeah, superstar on that level. Yeah. They'll get there. They're not quite there on that yet. But they're, they're going to be superstars. There's no issue to me. I think they're great. Yep. Um, but and we'll see you and Brent on the 11th. Yes. At the social. Well, you won't really see us, but, but we'll hear, hear you. Us. Yes. I'm actually honest, to, just so that everyone's clear on this. All you'll hear with me is actually a tape thing. Oh. I'm actually in um, Amsterdam speaking at the Serum Association of Benelux Nations the next day. Got so it. So I can't be there. So, but I am going to tape. But your wisdom will be imposed upon us. <laughs> Yeah, video Impose recording. Is probably the right word for it. No other reason anyone would listen. Oh come Unless on! Unless it was like slammed into someone's head with a hammer. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, I'll take another. <laughs> yeah, wow. I, that's because I can't remember anything after I just hit myself on the head. <laughs> All right. Well, we're here at the 16-minute mark. Anything else you want to tell us? Impressions? Things we should look for? Um, just look for you on your continuous rise to the top. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that that would be fun. Yes. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, hash CRM is where we have our conversations. And also to stay tuned, we'll give you more information about Paul's upcoming uh, social media CRM training. It's going to be hot, hot, hot. And you will be lucky if you get a seat. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you.